We are unboxing the Vario Aero today. If you've never heard of Vario, it is a very, very premium headset brand and they've actually only been Enterprise this whole time. And it's like $7,000 for the XR3, which is their Enterprise one, which I actually got to try. I got to try at uh, AWE. Running off yeah. And then just keep your eye on the dot. I had color pass through, color of mixed reality pass through, and it was like so beautiful. Um, and I just, yeah, I don't know how else to explain it. It was just a really great headset. But today we are unboxing the Vario Aero. Ta da! <laughs> In this box, we have this very beautiful headset. Ooh, and it's, surprise, it's a wired headset. <laughs> you know, unlike the Quest 2, which you can play as a standalone headset. The Vario Aero is a wired PC VR headset, meaning you would play Steam VR games on this thing. This is the Vario Aero. It is the most premium, the most luxurious consumer VR headset. And for the longest time, they were only doing enterprise headsets. So this is their first attempt into the consumer market, which is a very, very big deal um, because that means more competition in the industry, but also like, bringing this level of premiumness into the VR headset market is going to be, I mean, it's already out. It's been out for like a year, $2,000 headset only for the headset does not come with controllers. So for example, this is the quest two. Let me just, I mean, obviously my quest two is a little bit more beefy. <laughs> there's a built-in microphone. There's a built-in speaker, which you totally don't even recognize and like, it just, it just exists naturally into here, right? And then because it's inside out tracking, that means you don't have to have base stations. In the olden days, in the olden days on Steam VR headsets especially, you need to have base stations. So there's like little, like these little cube looking things. They're like these little cube looking things that you have in the corners of your room. And then that's how it tracks where your headset is. On the Quest 2 though, it has cameras that instead of having like outward cameras looking at you and locating you in your space, this has uh, cameras on the headset which like just projects out and sees where you are relative to your house. So this thing doesn't come with controllers, does not come with base stations, does not come with, this actually does not have inbuilt, built-in speakers or um, or your phones on this at all. Um, but if I was to put this on my head right now, like I wouldn't be able to hear anything. And if I was talking this, you wouldn't be able to like talk. I played with this on my live stream on YouTube a lot. Um, so when I played with this on my live stream, I would actually have like this, I'd have to like put on these like big earphones, which I would Bluetooth onto here. So it's like, it's a whole, it's a whole production. Um, so the cool thing about this headset is it does already have all these like fancy little knobs to adjust. So it has a knob on the top. It has a knob on the back and it even has these little knobs on the on the sides too. these little like dial looking thing and this changes like the angle so it really does adjust to your head shape really well so it is a lot more comfortable a little bit more like definitely a lot more balanced like also you can see this thing it pivots and this top thing pivots this does not have any sort of pass-through as you can tell there's no like cameras on the outside and that's how you get pass-throughs on the Vario Aero, this adjusts automatically. So when I put this on my head, that this prompt that comes up and it says, so look at this white dot. And so I just look at the white dot for a, for a little bit and then it starts calibrating and you'll hear this mechanical sounds as the eye pieces go together or further apart. So the first game that I ever tried on the Vario Aero was um, Half-Life Alex, and the graphics on this thing are so, so good. Like I think a game like Half-Life, like I think a game like, like I think a game like Half-Life Alex works really well on this. <laughs> and then when I played this on VR chat, it was crazy. So you know in VR chat, there's like these little posters on the wall and they're like little posters like anime and whatever. Like the graphics on this headset is so good that those like anime posters look like they're 3D. Like they're just like they're, they're jumping out because the graphics on this is so good. And when I was playing some of those games, like, or some of the, like going to some of those worlds that weren't as developed, I could tell that some of the textures weren't as developed on this headset. Looking at some of the games, you can just tell that when the game developers developed those games, they weren't using headsets like this. They were using headsets like the Quest 2. That game will look really good, but on this headset, like having a magnifying glass on every single surface in the game, it just looks like 
It's like a mixture of being in the real world, but then some of the items are all of a sudden like something that someone drew on a piece of paper cut out and like stuck onto the wall and was like, this headset is so good with the graphics that it's too good. Like a lot of the games that are in the VR market are just not able to, to live up to the standard of this headset which kind of sucks. Like it almost defeats the purpose of getting this like beautiful headset because a lot of the games don't have the level of graphical quality to be able to be played on this nicely. So the cost of this headset by itself is $2,000 just for the headset. And because it doesn't use inside out tracking like the Quest 2 and it uses outside in tracking, you actually need to have base stations. And you also need to have, this doesn't have an inbuilt speaker or a microphone, so you also have to have your own like earphones. In total, after you get everything else that you need in order to run this, it comes out to like 3,000, basically. Overall, the Vario Aero is a high quality, premium consumer VR headset. For $2,000, you're getting extremely advanced graphics. And if that's what you care about most, then the Vario Aero will be great for you. However, I can't recommend this as a daily driver for most because current VR games on the market don't fully take advantage of the graphic capabilities, which is Vario Aero's primary perk. If Vario takes some of this technology and puts it into their next consumer headset that does have the built-in speaker and microphone along with pass-through camera then their next VR headset could really take over the VR consumer market.